once again to the Miller Lite AVP Tour as we come to the eastern seaboard. And it is the calm after the storm that was Hurricane Big Bertha that ravaged so much of the eastern seaboard and suspended play here yesterday. But watching the conditions, you would never know as we come to New England for the Miller Lite AVP Champions of New England presented by U.S. Healthcare. We are in Old Orchard Beach, Maine, and it's semi-final time. Paul Sunderland with Tim Hovland, and who better to start with than your venerable <laughs> age partner, Mike Dodd. Mike Dodd, ninth last week. is the last tournament before the Olympics. He needs the confidence for the, to win this tournament to go in with a clear head. And his partner has had a busy week. We'll tell you about that later. Mike Whitmarsh. Mike Whitmarsh, back in the finals. They haven't won since May 5th, looking for his big win. All right, their opposition has an Olympic flavor, no doubt. We start with Karch Kirai. Karch Kirai is closing in on Randy Stokos' 122 tournaments. He has 118, looking for 119. And Kent Steffes, of course, almost $2 million in prize money, 28 years of age, out of Pacific Palisades. Kent Steffes always wants to win, and this win, his jump serve could be a determining factor. All right, a matchup of Olympic proportions, as we've alluded to. Mike Dodd and Mike Whitmarsh, their last tournament before, of course, they leave for Atlanta. Karch Kirai and Kent Steffes, the number one seed. Against the mics dodd and whitmarsh they are the fourth seeds a spectacular day it was hot earlier day surprising yeah. big bertha cleared out lots of rain yesterday we'll tell all you tell you all about how that affected play and the schedule first chance for kirai and steffes mike dodd calmly over the top for the side out play was suspended midday yesterday because big bertha was blowing by and dumping rain all over new england of course and the top half of the semifinals are, were set with Mike Dodd and Mike Whitmarsh against Karch Kirai and Kent Steffes, but the bottom half was not. Adam Johnson, Scott Akatebi, and et all had to play their quarterfinals this morning, and the loser's bracket was treacherous, but today the weather has been nothing short of spectacular. Clear, the humidity is light, Tem temperature about 80 degrees, humidity relatively low, rising a little bit right now, but the wind, as we move towards the finals time, clearly a factor, and it has indeed been a great day and fabulous compared to the way it was yesterday. Woo. See the wind blowing things around, creating problems for both teams. Somebody trying to get on the scoreboard. Short shot by Mike Dodd. Falling down and continues to amaze at the age of 38. Mike Dodd, what ball control. Ball comes off the net. Whitty tries to set him, but it blows in off the net. Dodds, he hangs and throws it down right in front of Kent. Heck, ball control. You see the flags a-flapping above the grandstands here at Old Orchard Beach, Maine. Very historic site on the eastern seaboard. We'll tell you a little bit about this area when we have a moment. Kent Steffes uh, showing an awful lot of emotion last week. You remember in the loss to Jose Loyola and Adam Johnson, he was clearly disappointed in his finals performance. I think he's got a little bit uh, of nervous jitters before the Olympics. He's going to have to calm down. I think quit reading the press, play his own game. He's been playing great all season. Don't change anything right now. Steffes with the dig, looking to get on the board. Again, it is zeros, and Kent Steffes down the sideline, and we have our first point on the scoreboard registered by Karch Kirai and Kent Steffes. They lead 1-0. And the big point that is, Karch and Kent are on the bad side. Wind's gusting at 15 to 20 miles an hour, so if they get two or three points on this side, they'll be in, sitting in the driver's seat. And they certainly do have a much stronger serving game. Dig once again by Steffes, right in the middle of the court. And nice shot once again by Mike Dodd. Does he know the court better than anybody else on tour right now? Just a great touch here. He knows the lines. He can find the court. He uses all 30 feet of that court. Watch. Kent comes in, goes over his head. Before Kent's back, he drops it in front of him. He uses the whole court better than anybody on tour. Mike Dodd whipping up the jump serve as strongly as he can from the good side. And Steffes once again hitting the ball down the line at the retreating blocker, Mike Whitmarsh. We were talking earlier, if Whitmarsh and Dodd had a good jump serve, they could easily be the best team on the beach. Neither one of them have a very good jump serve, which puts their uh, their defensive game in so much trouble. There you look at Karch Kirai, of course, now 35 years of age, headed for his third Olympics. Nice. Just a mere child in 1984, as, of course, he and Steve Timmons, Pat Powers, Dusty Dvorak led the way. Well, Chris Marlowe and I carried around the water bottles. <laughs> we were the caddies. They were the superstars. Chris was carrying the flag a little bit at the end. He was. to get as much camera time as possible. And it worked. Oh, yeah. It worked indeed. Then, of course, in 88, Karch uh, 
back-to-back -back gold medal. Steve Timmons still on that team. Jeff Storff, Doug Partee, Bob Stavertlick. And now headed for his third as a member of the beach volleyball premier Olympic squad, along with Mike Dodd and Mike Whitmarsh. Those teams had a lot of flavor, a lot of uh, characters on the team. I think the team this year, we're wishing them the best of luck. Not, not quite as uh, outspoken, would you say, or many characters. I mean, they're a great team, and we wish them the best. Don't, maybe they just calm down their personalities a little bit. A little I, would, bit. I would take one exception. Clearly, you have not spent much Lloyd time Ball. with Lloyd Ball. That is very true. <laughs> he has more tattoos than Dennis Rodman. Well, I don't know, but he's a close second, and he's got silver nail polish right now. Oh, so maybe going to change it to gold on his toenails before the Olympics. Well, let's hope it's a gold. That bugged him about the silver. I said, you're aiming a little low. <laughs> Dig by Dodd off the Chester. Going deep to Karch. Kiraya Steffes leading by one. And Dodd with the hard cut back out of the middle. And we're tied at one apiece. If we can remember back to San Francisco where Dodd and Whitmarsh had their last victory, this is the exact style of play that they needed. Dodd digging in the back, using his experience, chopping the ball down just like he did right there. And very similar conditions. Of course, you remember how windy indeed it was in San Francisco, and Dodd and Whitmarsh did the better job of controlling the volleyball in adverse conditions. Whitmarsh has come a long way with his ball control. I think Mike's taught him uh, a, a ton of knowledge in the four years they've been playing. Another thing, too, they're playing an awful lot of big matches at the end of the day when it's windy. Right. Yeah. Dodd through the hands of Kent Steffes. How would you rate Steffes as a blocker? In the last two weeks, he's been very impressive, really penetrating. When you pe penetrate in the net, you're pushing with your shoulders o over your arms are coming down. He's really doing that and getting some balls cracking down on the sand. Before, he's getting used a little bit. And Whitmarsh does the same thing on there. He's getting up so high, but if he blocks the ball, it's going to come back down on your side, and you're not going to be able to cover it. Mike Whitmarsh and Mike Dodd were up with us just a short time ago as they were scouting Karch Kirai and Kent Steffes who were playing in the match prior, a victory over Brian Lewis and Scott Akatubby. And Whitmar said, look, Karch doesn't hit the ball at me anymore at all. He just shoots the ball around and it really has changed the way I block against him. I really reach up and try to get some soft blocks. He does try to soft block, but as soon as he starts to soft block, Karch will rip one down. So he's going to keep Whitmarsh guessing. Mike's got to be, keep doing his, what he does best, getting over the net and penetrating. Even if he's, he's so high anyway, the shot's going to go too high and Mike can run it down just like that. Dodd cracking, Steffes with the dig. And once again, I'll tell you, Steffes, you look at the shot chart and Steffes time and again for important side outs and to end a long rally will go down the sideline. Watch this. Here's Dodd right here. Lays it out. Great up. Puts him right on. Steph is holding his position. Gives Dodd to his lips. Brings the ball right up and puts it down. Hard jump serve by Karch Kirai for the ace. And that with the wind at his back from the bad side. That's a big one. What a great jump serve. We took a little something off it. Here's Karchi. Watch the extension. Hits it high. Cuts it down. Dodds it. Let's it go. Hits the back line. 2-1. Karch coming again, working on Mike Dodd. And, nice. and Dodd off of Kent Stephenson down. Would you just serve hard in this situation, or would you work on Dodd, work on Whitmarsh, and if you're them, who do you serve, Karch or Kent? I talked to them before. They always start off, if somebody, and Karch and Kent, one can go into the hole, you keep it on until they come out, then you switch it around. Don't pick on one person all that long because they're too good. They can come out of it. Whitmarsh with a soft block. Keeping the ball set very low. A little pinball wizardry once again and again and again. Possession goes to Mike Dodd and Mike Whitmarsh, and they're both saying, hey, Kim Pickering, who is in the top perch right now, that was a lift on Kirai. Should have been called a long time ago. Dodzy with some sweet hand set. I haven't seen that since the late 80s. Puts it on the net, and Whitmarsh puts it away. Not known for his hand-setting ability. Well, he learned with you. Well, you can look at the hands he's looking, looking for. <laughs> Karch Kirai, so much for not hitting against Mike Whitmarsh, bouncing that one up the deep middle. You can't slop it around. Like we were saying earlier, he's got to pound it and then cut it. But if he gets a couple blocks, don't hit that ball into him. He knows he, he could use Whitmarsh, bring it back, and do it again. He hasn't played for 15, 20 years, not to, not to learn everything in the book. 
Of course, Karch in his usual position, standing right at the net. And, Tim, you mentioned he's just four behind Randy Stoklos for second place all time. He's got 118, Stoklos with 122. Mike Dodd and Mike Whitmarsh, of course, last week a ninth, and we talked about it. And then Karch Kirai and Kent Steffes a fourth the week before and then second last week that's a major slump for them but we still we first on Dodd and Whitmarsh we said last week after night they're going to come back they thought about it all week they're playing real good ball they got a chance to get to the finals they can stop Karch and Kent and Kent step down the sideline it's you know I purposefully did not call Karch Mike Dodd Mike Whitmarsh I left a message for Kent but I knew he wouldn't call me back anyway <laughs> so I just going through the routine but they have been inundated with the media in advance of the Olympic Games. It's just been one interview after another, after another, after personal appearance. It's been very, very taxing and distracting. Karch, the fabulous athletic play, and Whitmarsh with the stuffed block to hold at bay. Karch Kirai and Kent Steffes, we continue to be tied at two. What a great athletic move right here. Karch swings with the left arm, brings it up, very difficult. Kent puts him a little too close. Watch Whitmarsh penetrate. Put that back down. His hat's over the net. That's getting up. On a natural beach here, of course, uh, in Old Orchard Beach, Maine, along the eastern seaboard. Absolutely spectacular resort community. Nice dig by Steffes. Both teams playing good defense. Going back to Dodd. See how low they set Mike Dodd on the left side, and he gets the score. We're going to change sides. It was Kirai and Steffes early, but Dodd and Whitmarsh now with the lead by one here on a blustery day in New England. <laughs> Semi-final, a match that was, of course, won by Karch Kirai and Kent Steffes, 14 to 12. And we're back to center court. Very enthusiastic, knowledgeable fans here in the New England area. Of course, we've been coming to Boston and out on the Cape Cod for years and years. And Nesson, our regional partner here on a Prime Sports Network, has been showing beach volleyball out here for a long, long time. And these fans, they know their beach volleyball. Semi-final action, Karch Kirai and Kent Steffes against Mike Dodd and Mike Whitmarsh. Right now, Dodd and Whit up by one, but they have come to what can be the very bad side. Kirai with a dig, Steffes! Boy, that was a risky play. These are not soft sideline banners where you remember Karch injured his kidney a couple of years ago. These are hard in place. Abutments. He could have really hurt himself. Steph is really on his horse. Great up behind his head, but couldn't control it. Mike is putting some good heat on that ball. That ball is drifting off the net. I'm impressed with the way he's keeping it in front of his body and putting some good heat on it. We've been traveling all over the place. Haven't had time to play much volleyball. So he should be well rested for this tournament. Soft block by Whitmarsh. Steffes, of course, going line once again. Dodd was there trying to cut it off a little too sharply. Dodd and Whitmarsh take the 4-2 lead and a very important point from the bad side. This is what I was saying earlier. If the ball gets too close to net, Whitmarsh is too big. He will put that back down on you. Kent's got to bring him off. Cut, cut. Come on. Witt with a set from well off the net. Mike Dodd with heat. Fabulous set from Mike Whitmarsh. And that's three points in a row to make it 5-2 to Dodd and Whitmarsh. Falls off the net. Puts it straight down. That's a heck of a play. Whitmarsh leading him to the net. Dodd letting the ball come on and then putting them, put it away. Take a look at our Animal Watches game clock. Plenty of time left, of course, just under five minutes and 30 seconds. As Karch Kirai and Kent Steffes say, hey, guys, enough is enough. We may be the number one seeds, but we're on the short end of things right now against Dodd and Witt. Another day at the beach with the AVP, Paul Sunderland with Tim Hovland coming to you from Old Orchard Beach, Maine. Semifinals at Dodd and Whitmarsh. <laughs> on top right now in the semifinals. Whitmarsh looking back to Mike Dodd going, what are you doing missing that serve? Dod Dodsey and I always said, after timeout, put that ball in play. He knows, he goes, he doesn't make those mistakes. He won't happen, that won't happen again. Kirai cranking it up into the wind from the good side. Low set, and Steffes with the touch. Steffes pokey, and that's good for the score. That'll make it 5-3. Good play by Kirai and Steffes. Whitmarsh comes in here. Steph is from the net cam, pokes it over. The, nice and easy. And into the wind, of course, the normal 30-foot court seems like it's about 35 feet long when you get to cuff the ball into the wind. Karch will get to that. 
keeping it on Dodd. Dodd with no approach like in the old days, just freezing Karch Kirai and Kent Steffes. That was like a Tim Wakefield knuckleball. Whitmarsh with a nice play. Kent's on his opposite side there. Can't get the ball. They played a switch back on the right side. He probably could have got that ball. When you're on the opposite side, you don't play the same defense. The wind continues to howl, probably up now, upwards now, 15, 20 miles an hour, and the temperature has dropped significantly. Great play by Dodd, and the court is wide open, and Kent Steffes will take advantage. But once again, Kirai having a little trouble getting the first shot past Mike Whitmarsh. Dodsey laying it out, bringing the ball up, and the Witty puts it back over the net, but Kent has the whole court. Easy play. Great hustle by Dodman. Kent Steffes, of course, 84 career victories to his credit. Karch Kirai and Kent Steffes have already won eight out of 14 tournaments so far this year. And what that gets you is probably a pretty good spot in the Miller Lite Cup standings if you've won eight out of 14. Of course, the million-dollar bonus payout at the end of the season this year in Chicago. You see Karch Kirai with the lead over his partner. That differential is from the King of the Beach earlier in the year where Steffes did not participate. Adam Johnson, Jose Loyola, Ack and Louie, Dodd and Witt. Somehow, those are the top four teams, aren't they? And there <laughs> sure is the are. money. For first place, $125,000 for, of course, the best performance over the course of the season. Karch Kirai won it last year. His partner, Kent Steffes, has won it a couple of times. 75 per second, paid down through 48 positions. Steffes with another dig, looking to make it 5-4, and where does Kent Steffes go? Nowhere but down the sideline. If you're blocking against Steffes in the rally, why don't players just deny that shot and make him hit the ball back at the digger? He had a great approach. The ball was set properly. Even if you're making the good block, he can go over you deep in the corner. And if you give him too much, he'll crush the angle. You got to keep him guessing, or he's going to stage you just like he did right there. He did indeed. You talked about the wind being a factor. It certainly was. Karch Kirai and Kent Steffes went over trailing. They come back, now tied at five. <laughs> Hard to come by, but here in Old Orchard Beach, there are seven of them. So this is certainly a very popular place to come during the summer months when the population swells from 8,000 to 100,000. Tied at five, semifinal action, Paul Sunderland with Tim Hovlin and another block by Mike Whitmarsh. You better set the ball three feet off the net, but the problem is if you do, Dodsey's going to chase down shots and dig you. Exactly. Big Mike Whitmarsh. That ball is drifting towards the net with the wind at his back as it is now. He's going to put, put it down on you every time. Biggest block on the beach, maybe in the world. I think I think if you're Kirai and Steffes, you have to play a little bit like Ack and Louie. You know he's going to get you because of the wind conditions and whatnot. you got to score with some aces. That ball hit out of bounds, and I think you credit that to Whitmarsh. No doubt. That's, that's an intimidation. Intimidation block. Makes a good swoop. Ball set on the net. Kent comes in for his patent line shot, hit a little behind him, knocks it out, point, Dodd and Witt. Dodd and Witt lead by one. Of course, Adam Johnson and Jose Loyola, the number two seeds, have won the winner's bracket there in the finals. And back-to-back -back hitting errors by Kent Steffes. In the NBA, they keep a stat, of course, for block shots, but a lot of teams keep chain shots as well. And I'll tell you, Mike Whitmarsh right. is influencing a lot of shots right now. That's Kent's third hitting error. Steffes into the tape. Dodds right there. Looking to get to eight. Steffes with the stab. And cannot keep the ball in play. And Karch went down hard. Karch was injured a couple of years ago. Very similar play, you remember, at the Cuervo when he hurt his kidney and had to miss a couple of tournaments. Karch out of control. Didn't fall too hard. Kind of backed into it. Might have scraped his eyes. Looks like he scraped his eye a little bit. Karch is as tough as competitor as there is on the beach. And I think you're exactly right. I think the problem was either sand flew up and got him in the eye, or he took a shot from one of the banners courtside. You can take a medical timeout. They will certainly give Karch the time allowed by the rules to get ready and play, which for Karch is usually the minimum, which means he's about ready. Going to make sure certainly that he can see. There's no hurry in coming back. Karch knows the rules. You can take a medical timeout. Let's take another look at this and see probably what the damage was. 
Off the top. Ken stretches it out. Karch slows it down a little bit. Hits the putt. They held him a little bit. That was good. I think he just got a little dust in his eye. Maybe a little scratch. Scratch. He's tough as, it, as they get. He's ready to play again. MVP last year back on the score. Last four years, excuse me. That's a quadrennial. God, that's <laughs> a long time. That's a long time. That's a dominating individual and team performance by, of course, Karch Kirayan. Ironically, Kent Steffes has never won an individual award. It kind of rankles Karch Kirai quite a bit. So would that. A serve by Mike Dodd. Of course, they are on the good side now. Now, and Karch Kirai, arguably the best passer on the beach right now, can't handle it. Dodd Whitmarsh out to the 9-5 lead. Big move here. Four points on the on the good side. Karch can have to get one. Karch hammering the ball down the line. And this just reminds me of San Francisco when the wind up there was blowing off the bay at 25 miles an hour or so. These two teams met in the finals, and Mike Dodd and Mike Whitmarsh got their only win of the year. They were arguing that the Olympic trial should count as a win, <laughs> but I would argue not. Mike Dodd hammering hard cross court. What they're doing so well is Mike Dodd's passing the ball low to the net. Whitty with a nice little two set, crushing across court. Great ball control in this kind of weather that wins matches. Mike Dodd passing the ball well. Good trajectory and Whitmarsh setting accurately. And Karch Kirai gently slicing off the angle. Very, very nice set from Kent Steffes. Nice set, but a pretty shot by Karch. Sees the inside and just cuts it off. The inside slasher left side approach. Tough play. Steffes back to serve, going to Whitmarsh, trailing by four. There's the crank by Kent Steffes, and that makes it 9-6, and Kirai and Steffes score a very important point. They get one on the bad side, and now headed, is it north or south? We're on the east coast, I don't know. east. <laughs> There's Karch Kirai, some weeks ago now, carrying the torch in Laguna Beach, California. Of course, Karch, a two-time Olympic gold medalist, a fabulous honor. He's now the proud owner of that torch. Everyone around the country who is fortunate enough to carry the torch can purchase it. One of the ways that the Olympic Committee, of course, helps raise money. And you can see that Karch is having a good old time. Of course, Karch lives in San Clemente and carried the torch through parts of Laguna. Dave Saunders, a former Olympic teammate, carried the torch in San Diego as well. Talking about the Olympic beach competition, here are the top four seeds. You have Roberto and Franco, the number one Brazilian team off the FIVV Tour. They're the number one seed. Sinjin Smith, Carl Hinkle get the number two seed. They're the highest ranked host country team. And then fortunately, Karch Kirai, Kent Steffes, Mike Dodd, Mike Whitmarsh are the third and fourth seed, so they will not meet before the finals because they're in the opposite brackets. No, but Kent and, and Karch might meet Sinjin and, uh, and Hinkle. That should be an interesting match. Well, they are in the same bracket, oh, as yeah. are Mike Dodd and Mike Whitmarsh with Franco and Roberto, the top seeded team out of Brazil. And I say fortunately because there was some chance that Mike and Mike and Karch and Kent would have been next to each other in the draw. We'll explain that. Kent Steffes has real trouble from the bad side, hits that ball out of bounds. That makes it 10-7, and right away, excuse me, 10-6, right away, Dodd and Whitmarsh get a point from the bad side. Steffes comes in a little bit too hard, hits it over his head, and almost hits the speedo sign. We're really having a difficult time. Is Kent Steffes siding out right now? I want to finish that story on the Olympic seeds. Kirai Steffes, Dodd, and Whitmarsh were put literally in a hat with the top Norwegian team and the second-ranked Brazilian team, and they were drawn out for seeds three through six. If the American teams were seeded fourth and fifth or third and sixth, which could have happened with the draw, they would have met as early as the quarterfinals. So there was a lot of concern about that. Stuffed by Kent Steffes on Mike Dodd. Big score from the good side. That makes it 10-7. Kirai and Steffes have got to score a lot from the good side. Kent really penetrating. Puts it back for a facial disgraceful on MD. He's really been blocking well the last few weeks. Dodd and Whitmarsh still with a three-point lead. And after the side change, have already scored one point from the bad side as Kent Steffes hit the ball out of bounds. Steffes continues to struggle. 
He's got four unforced errors hitting the ball out of bounds into the net. Certainly it's windy, and Whitmarsh is causing him some problems. No doubt about that. Going to Karch, who goes hard inside of Mike Whitmarsh and off Mike Dodd. Here comes up. The all-time wins. Let's see this. Karch Kira 118, Stavis 84, Dodd 71, Whitmarsh 13, Smith 100. Carl Hankel is zero. What's wrong with that pitcher there, Paul? Well, I would obviously say that Carl Hankel is the only player on that list without a career victory, either on the AVP Tour or on the FIVB Tour. The FIVB obviously a, a distinguished list, but uh, Hankel without a win. The FIVB Tour, you know, is not the strongest tour in the world. They've been out there for two years, still haven't notched a victory. Obviously, we've got to change the qualification system. Something, something is obviously wrong. Well, we've talked about that now for the last couple of years. An awful lot of politics involved with it. Karch Kirai with the tap down. 10-9 now, and very important move by Karch Kirai and Kent Steffes. I think the qualification procedure, by definition, is wrong if the best teams are not there. I don't care if you're from the United States or Uganda, if it's wrestling or if it's volleyball. Mm -hmm. The obligation is to create a system where the best teams are there, and that's not the situation. Of course, if you want to come out and play on the AVP Tour, there are a number of chances for you to do it. Albuquerque, New Mexico, on down to Chicago, Illinois. There you see the remainder of the qualifier tour. If you want to come out and ply your trade, are you single A, are you double A, are you triple A, how good are you really? You can find out. Earn a spot in the main draw in the AVP Tour by doing well enough at one of the qualifier competitions. For information, of course, call the AVP. They'll tell you where to go. You enter the qualifier, and maybe we'll see you out here on Friday, Saturday. Probably not on Sunday, but no offense intended. <laughs> and none taken by Mike Whitmarsh. Karch Kirai and Kent Steffes score four straight. We are tied at 10 with just over three minutes left in our Animal Game Watches clock here from Old Orchard Beach, Maine. Beach, of course, this is the Miller Lite AVP Championships of New England. And that is a big stuff block by Mike Whitmarsh. Ball set too tight, and Karch Kirai, a lot like Sinjin Smith and you and Mike, trying to poke that ball back. But look at Witt just stuffing that ball straight down. That's what we're talking about, penetrating, getting that hands deep over the net. That ball cannot be covered. Tight set once again. The pokey's out, and Dodd's there. He cranks the ball inside Karch Kirai. Three straight points for the 13 to 10 lead for Dodd and Whitmarsh. A little too close here. A little pokey shot. Mike Dodd's on the ball. Uses Karch's inside. I think they need a little timeout. That ball is set so tight. Kirai can go nowhere with it. And as soon as the knuckle came out, Dodd was on the run. And Karch Kirai and Kent Steffes will use one of their full timeouts to try to slow things down. A minute 47.7 seconds left on our Animal Watch's game clock. And Whitmarsh once again, the dominant force along with partner Mike Dodd. $125,000 in total prize money. And of course, $25,000 to the winners. Second place, 14. 250, which is, of course, split with your teammate, third, fourth, and fifth. 32 teams will, of course, receive prize money this week. I would like to, I'd like to take this down to, like, 22. Add a little bit here, maybe 16. And maybe a little bit here, too. You know, these guys are making a little bit too much money, if, if that's possible. What do you think, Paul? No? I, I'm all for sharing the wealth, but I'm not sure that... that Karch Kirai and Kent Steffes would agree. He says, wait a minute, wait a minute. Even this guy back here say, wait a minute. You want to take off 2250 bucks? Give it, give it to Hav and Paul. Now we're talking. <laughs> How you doing back there? She looks like she's having a good time. A couple Miller Lights, some beach volleyball, and some perfect weather. This has been a fabulous location. I'll tell you, the AVP staff once again, and everybody here from PS Star Games who are running the tournament here in Old Orchard Beach, weathering literally the situation yesterday when Big Bertha spun off a lot of rain and a lot of wind. And again, uh, if you're just joining us, play was suspended at midday yesterday. Adam Johnson, Jose Loyola, didn't play a match all day yesterday. Played one on Friday, yeah. sat out all day yesterday, but then they've made up for it today, starting the quarterfinals early today. 
Kent Steffes serving down by three. It is 13 to 10. Mike Dodd and Mike Whitmarsh have done exactly what you said. They have capitalized from the good side. But Kirai and Steffes got to get something going from the bad side. They could lose it right here and get stuck on the bad side. They're up 13-10 right now. All they have to do is side out. They're, they're worried about They want to get some points, but they have to side out. There's a minute 38 left. They still got to go for it because Karchuk can, can still serve good on the bad side. But, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Karch looking up. He thought probably he had seen enough of Mike Whitmarsh at the Olympic trials when Dodd and Whitmarsh just controlled Kirai and Steffes. And one point away from a return to the finals for Mike and Mike after a ninth place last week in Minneapolis. If you go into that a pokey, maybe a little bit too much. Should probably try and go off the top, use a little more, a bit more power. Going to Steffes, game point number one. Whitmarsh, he is just in control, jumped into the angle, penetrated, and in the matchup in our semifinal of the Olympians, it is Mike Dodd and Mike Whitmarsh with the victory. Karch Kirai and Kent Steffes now losers in the finals. Last week, a fourth-place finish in Grand Haven, and now a third-place finish in their last appearance on the court before the Olympic Games. The whole factor right there was Mike Whitmarsh. Huge blocking, penetrating the net, getting five stuff blocks in that match. That's relegating their two aces. Great blocks, finishing the game out. He's ready for the finals. And Mike Whitmarsh did not discriminate. He blocked Stephanus <laughs> early. He blocked Kirai oh, late. Yeah. Mike Dodd and Mike Whitmarsh on their way to the finals to face Adam Johnson and Jose Loyola. We're at Old Orchard Beach in Maine. This is the Miller Lite AVP Tour. We'll be back with more, of course, finals action. Him set up with our headset and microphone. Going to take us just a moment. And as we always like to do, want to talk to one of the players that just finished their semifinal. And Mike Dodd now joining us courtside. I'll tell you, Mike, side was a big factor, but your partner in front of you was pretty good at the end blocking some balls. Congratulations to you. Thanks a lot, Paul. Yeah, Witty was just a force of the net. He's really been blocking well the last month. And uh, I, it couldn't be better timing going into Atlanta. And uh, hopefully we can come out here now and uh, give Adam and Loyola a run for their money. Hey, Dodd man, Hav here. Hey, Javi. Hey, uh, what are you going to change against Adam and Loyola? Well, I think we just need to uh, side out a little more consistently. They had their jump serves working pretty good in the finals of winners. And uh, outside of us uh, getting aced a few times, I thought it was a pretty good match. And I think we're, we're right there. If we side out a little better, I, th I like our chances. All right, Michael. We like your chances as well if you play like you did against your Olympic teammates. Congratulations. We'll see you in the finals. Good Thanks for well. taking a moment, Thanks moment a lot, and Bobby. joining us. All right. We had a chance to visit with Mike Dodd. A little windy weather waiting for Adam Johnson and Jose Loyola, but our final is set.